You guys, today is March 19th. March 19th, 11.09 a.m. And we got a picture perfect day. Air temps are in the mid 60s. Water temps hovering around 50, I think. I'm waiting for my uh, transducer to get all calibrated, but probably around 50. So, you know what that means. I'm going up in some creeks, throwing some crankbaits, spinnerbaits, some little finesse, finesse um, plastics, and uh, seeing if I can pick off some pre spawners. Again, beautiful day. This just has spinnerbait written all over it, so I might be throwing spinnerbait around, but I'm going to work these these areas up um, up by 10 mile a little bit and uh, head up the creek and see if I can't put it together uh, a little bite. Temperature shell. And the water is already starting to get warmer right now. See it's flickering between 50 and 51. When I first put it on the main lake, it was flickering between 49 and 50. I'm in six feet of water. This whole area is pretty much a flat, like a 12, 13 foot flat. So I'm going to try here and then just keep moving up this creek, see if I can't pick one off. 53.2.3. As long as I know it's a D3, I'm good. There are two other boats back here that I've seen. Um, I saw them, they all ran back here from the boat ramp. So, obviously, this, is, this isn't the big secret where the water gets warm, where the fish are. But, I've yet to see any bites. Um, saw one, something on the surface, but that's about all. So, I'm gonna pitch this uh, crankbait around. Maybe once I get in a little shallower, throw out a little jerk bait. See if that won't get anything, but uh, sticking with the moving bait so far. Might make a change, but probably not. I'm hooked up. I literally, this is my second cast with, uh, switch up to like a bright red square bill right on this riprap. And I was actually stopping the bait. Oh, it's a crappy. It's actually a nice crappy. He engulfed that freaking square bill. That's a beautiful crappy. Right, probably like two feet out on this riprap on bright red. I don't even know what the heck brand this is. But hey, it's about a half pound fish. I'll take her. I don't feel like eating in the day, so he will be returning home to his friends. But what a beautiful fish. If I was killing crappy today, this would be a perfect eating fish. Oh my god. What an awesome, awesome sandwich you would make. You know what? Do I keep him or do I let him go? Survey says... Service says I'm go. Goodbye, bud. What I was doing was I was pretty much running this uh, little squirrel right on the riprap. I know this tactic's a little, I'm a little bit early for this. This is like a late March, early April tactic. But I thought, I saw a couple of fish blow up on the surface. Water's really murky. Right red will be perfect in it. So I'm sitting in four feet. I was in about one feet. I'm just pitching this little squirrel around. And I kid you not, that was my second cast with it. And I literally just stopped it. And he was there. So 100% a reaction bite, which is awesome. That was probably, could have been my biggest crappy out of this lake. And if I was with my buddies or I was crappy fishing, I would kill him. But I definitely do not need him. I don't feel like cleaning him. I don't feel like cleaning my cooler because of him. So I'm just going to put him back. But if there's crappy here, there should be some largemouth mixed in with them. So fingers crossed I hook one of those rain last night so that means murky water and high water you can literally see how it's like chocolate milk here stained here and uh, you can usually see the riprap which is like right there but you obviously can't today because of the high water and the murkiness but I'm just casting pretty much right on the edge of that because I know the riprap's there and that should be good for the square bill I'm ricocheting it off and clearly also getting it stuck on the riprap but I don't mind getting it stuck a couple times to know that to know that I'm on it and uh, sometimes if you get your bait stuck and pop it off that'll make that fish want to eat it even more so I'm gonna pick apart this area a little bit more oh oh 
Yeah, that's a fish. That is a large mouth. I just saw him too. Here we go, boys. This is a good fish. Oh my god, he's shaking his head too. Oh, shoot. I know I'm gonna choke. He's gonna jump. Holy cow, that's a three pounder. That is 100% a three pounder. Holy cow. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. You come here, buddy. You come here. Let's go. Oh my god, look at that guy. There we go, on the freaking red square bill again. What a chunk. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gotta get it for snap. Look at that fish, guys. Beautiful. Ate that freaking square bill. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I, I miss bass fishing so much. I've been so busy with other stuff. I need to get back out here more often. This is literally my passion. Yeah, just gotta get this hook out. It definitely wasn't coming off. Got him hooking the tongue really good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Bleeding a little bit. I want you to have a. All right. He'll be fine. Whew. There we go. Good two and a half, three pounder. Let's get it. Well, first largey mouth bass of the day was not a very bad one. Pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna come out and catch a few dings. But he just came off that bank right there. Again with the little square bill, he's pitching it right right up tight. These fish are holding tight to the bank. Probably because the water is 54.7 degrees, almost 55. So two degrees warmer than I anticipated it was gonna be. But that fish's bite was so subtle, but it was really far down in his mouth. So that fish like literally inhaled my bait. So this is good. I'm starting to get dialed in. I, I know a pattern works. I found my pattern for the day. Now this question is, can I keep, can I keep uh, being redundant with that pattern and putting some nice weight in the boat? And my answer is hopefully yes, but I got this whole area to work. And there's only one boat back here, so we should be, we should be safe. I felt him pulling, but he's wrapped me around a stick. Yep. He wrapped me around that stick right there. I literally, I felt him pulling, but I felt him rubbing on a stick. It's only about a two pounder. He ate it head first. Insane, right in this little this little stick area. I knew they'd be holding some fish in here. And I was right. So definitely not as big as the last one, but look at those lips. Insane. But definitely definitely putting together a pattern. I'll be up to my line real quick. But yeah, that's why you gotta use heavier line when you're fishing square bills. I usually use um, 15 pound floor. This is my crank and rod. It's an American Hero. It's probably the cheapest loose combo you can buy. It's 6'6". Six, six. I like a shorter rod for square bill fishing. Nothing fancy, 6 3 to 1 gear ratio reel. A little faster a crankbait, but it works. And I just like, it's so light. I'm able to like flick it around all day without me getting tired, so. I'm just gonna stick it out here and see if I can get another one in the boat. This is being pretty good to me. But I just picked one off. I was throwing like a little plastic around, but then I switched back to this uh, square bill. And what do you know, first cast, that's a solid fish too. That's the biggest one of the day right there. I barely have him hooked too. Oh my God, he's barely hooked. 
Oh, oh my god, that's a three pounder. Easy three. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. I've been just killing them today. Oh my god. What is with this? I'm usually not this good. What the heck? Another solid one. Beautiful. I mean, just beautiful pre spawn fish. Like textbook red lips. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Be shown. Can't tell if it's a good one or not. Fish, come to me. Nah, he's not that big. But, he's a fish. And I went against my will and switched out to the live target crankbait. And as you can see, it got me a largemouth bass. Good job eating it, bud. This is what I'm saying. These fish are kind of lazy still, so they, they're kind of swiping at it. But, these sticky live target treble hooks had no issue connecting to them. Go away, go away. Oh, bass. Got water all in my just stopped the camera too. Oh, it just popped off. It was like six inches long, but I still count. There we go. That's the second one right here. I think they're sitting here. I think the quantity is over here, for sure. There we go, landed fish number five, hooked fish number six. Take a picture. Starting to fall into an afternoon slump. It is 2.54 and 30 seconds. And I've not caught a fish in about a half hour, 45 minutes. So, I'm just gonna keep working this area. The dam to Lake Churchill's there. Back to the, back to the ramps that way. I'm not ready to go back yet. But the conditions have changed up drastically on me. This morning, as you might recall, or as you should, if you don't go back in the video and look, it was like a cloudy, kind of hazy, mid 60s, low, it was actually low 60s, high 50s, and uh, perfect spinnerbait weather. Now, fast forward six hours or whatever, um, it is not that anymore. It is probably like 74, 75 degrees, it's sunny, and uh, yeah, definitely not spinnerbait weather anymore, but I'm still sticking with the moving baits. I'm switching back and forth between this little live target crawfish and the bandit 100 and uh see if i can pick anything off there's not a breath of wind though this is pre cold front conditions it's gonna be about the same tomorrow i might come back out tomorrow since i kind of got them dialed in and pick off some more but then monday uh it's gonna be cold it's gonna be like low 50s so I think that's why his fish are munching. Look, I just um, woke up. I'm still in my pajama pants. I've been editing all day, and uh, instead of doing one video, it would be like a half hour long, was what I was originally thinking, but I decided to split it into day one, day two, because they're both such good days, and I think they deserve their own video. So this video is going to be about 15 minutes long. Video two is going to be about 15 minutes long. Um, I had a really good day that day, but next day is even better, so stay tuned for that.